The Labor Department says manufacturing jobs are on the rise. But here in Kentucky, one plant says filling jobs is still a concern, so it's getting creative with how it attracts new hires. Daniel Miskell has more. Cooper Standard has 365 employees, but currently 60 job openings. The manufacturer of automobile engine hoses has workers who've been with them for more than 20 years, but the newer generation of employees fluctuate. It seems that with all of the stimulus payments, unemployment payments, extension of benefits, Employees can make almost as much staying at home as they can not working. He says another reason is because of child care and having many single parents on their team. So they've gotten creative, not just with hiring, but also with retention. I think 14-hour days has been probably the biggest hit. Everybody would like to go to working four days a week. And creating incentivized bonuses and increasing wages. So our starting pay is 1703 and the top pay for an operator in the facility is 2433. Cooper Standard is not the only manufacturing plant adjusting to the lack of workforce participation. You know, and we're seeing the same trend across both industrial parks as we're seeing across Kentucky, uh, a low labor participation rate. Kentucky's 45th out of 50 states in labor participation. You know, we need to continue, I think, to look at those programs. It might be disincentivizing folks to come back to work. Rainey says the pandemic changed the way people look at work, but it also changed the way employers look at hiring. We want to see Kentucky leading in categories. Workforce participation is such an important category, and, and we've got to find from a policy perspective, drive folks back to, to being in the workforce. And Cooper Standard says it is critical to fill these jobs because it would also help them get up to speed with their backlog. They supply parts to dealerships across the U.S., including Toyota in Texas. If they do not have the manpower to manufacture and ship these parts out on time, then it's up to the current employees to drive it out there themselves. Reporting in Mount Sterling, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.